Recently, my daughter asked me, Mom, what is your favorite toy? And today I'm doing something fun. I'm talking about my favorite toy these days, which is my iPad Pro. I'm using my iPad Pro for many different things. I'm using it to code, I'm using it to read, I'm using it to learn, create, and everything in between. So let's dive in and see how am I using my iPad Pro. In some instances, I am an old school kind of girl. I like to write on paper, I like to hold and read a real book, but that is not always easy to do on the go, and that is why I enjoy my iPad Pro a lot these days. I have been on the go for a few months and I use my iPad more and more because it's convenient and easy to use sometimes. How do I use my iPad Pro? I use my iPad Pro for work on regular basis which is really convenient to do code reviews, brainstorm, documentation, sprint planning, roadmap planning, project tracking, even system design sketching when you don't have a whiteboard. If you have been watching my YouTube channel, you probably noticed that I usually work on an ultra wide monitor. But since I'm on the go right now, I'm working on a 13 inch MacBook Pro, which is a little bit limited on real estate for me. And here it comes my favorite aspect of owning an iPad. I can use it as a second monitor with the side card feature. I can have my favorite IDE open on my MacBook Pro and right next to it I can have the design spec or documentation open on my iPad and it's a pretty sweet setup. I am task switching constantly which might cause me to be forgetful so my iPad comes in handy for quick notes and reminders which is super convenient. On top of that it's super simple to use it with Slack, emails, and so much more. I'm also using my iPad Pro to continue learning and develop. I'm using it to polish up my skills when it comes to data structures and algorithms. In this case, it's super convenient because you can do it anywhere you are or any time you have an hour or half an hour, whatever amount you have. And in this case, I might take a coding challenge from lead code, read it, get to understand what is being asked, what are the requirements, open up a text editor where do some pseudocoding, maybe even use the handy pencil that allows me to draw a matrix or whatever else is needed to wrap my head around what that coding challenge requires. And once I understand what needs to be done, I can start coding and solving that. There are plenty of tools that will allow you to code, such as Repolit or Lead Code or any other applications there. Obviously, they are not fully fledged applications that will allow you to do a complex project. But you definitely can do data structures and algorithms or small code changes, code reviews and, and so on. I'm also using this to learn not necessarily something when it comes to programming. I'm using it to, to learn how to do something more creatively. Maybe I can learn how to edit a video more interesting, more creative, more engaging how to draw, how to use different applications. So I'm using heavily my iPad for continuous development and continuous growth. When it comes to creativity, the iPad Pro is a must. 
one of the projects that I'm currently working on is writing a book. So it's easy to do that and easy to get in the flow when you have the tablet available with a keyboard and when the ideas come you're able to record them and store them in the right place and that makes the book writing process so much easier. When it comes to content creation, obviously I don't have my custom build PC anymore with me. So I'm using a tablet to edit like thumbnails in Canva. And when it comes to video editing, I'm using LumaFusion, which is an application that definitely makes it a different experience when it comes to video editing because you're able to use the touch screen to do different actions as well as using your apple pencil so which makes the content creation to a different level believe it or not i'm not working all the time i'm also using my ipad for entertaining either for reading or scrolling through youtube watching different shows or watching movies and also listening to music so it's super convenient to have a device that can do all of that and especially if you're on the go you just throw it in your backpack it doesn't take a lot of space and you're ready obviously my daughter is a user of my ipad as well we use it as an entertaining and educational tool for her she's learning to count She's learning to do math on the iPad Pro and also learning the alphabet and words, writing words together and spelling. And she's always engaged and interested in learning the next new thing. So you saw a lot of ways of how I'm using my iPad Pro from personal to professional usages. It works great for my lifestyle, especially when I am on the go. It works awesome and it's a tool that helps me keep everything organized and everything in one place. As you saw, I'm using my iPad Pro with accessories. So I'm using a Logi keyboard to, to have it on the go as a, a device where I can type. I'm also using an Apple Pencil, which is an amazing tool. I love it. I don't think I'll use and enjoy my ipad as much if i don't have the apple pencil i have a super simple standard clear screen protector and when i'm doing video creation or content creation i am using an ssd drive but other than that those are the accessories that i'm using and putting all of these accessories together it's an awesome setup for doing anything from coding, content creating, writing a book, working or being productive or whatever you want to do or just reading and being entertained. It's an amazing setup for on the go and traveling. To sum it up, iPad Pro is an amazing tool for a lot of creative projects, tech or non-tech projects. So you saw about all the ways I use my iPad these days, and especially when I am traveling. I use it more and more every day. I hope you found a new and interesting way to use your iPad and maybe you even got some inspiration on more ways to use this convenient piece of technology. I really appreciate you watching this until the end. Give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and turn the notification bell on to get notified when the next videos will be posted. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. 
wishing you well.